So let's look at what this drawing has in it. One thing it has is that it should be able to pull 0.1 kilogram the car up there. That's one criterion I'm going to check. It should be able to have the car start parallel to the ground before the beginning of the track. So the parallel to the ground cart. It should have an automated drive system. So I can, with my hand or a drill, walk up to it and start rotating the spindle because you, your power input has to be a rotation. And it should be able to produce a linear motion of the conveyance up the hill and then release it. Another thing that I'm going to be able to see if I succeed at is staying within the dimensions. The maximum dimensions are 48 inches or 120 centimeters and 16 inches or 40 centimeters tall. The next one is that I have a rise that's at least one centimeter. So from here to here is at least one centimeter. One, two, three, four, five criteria that I'm going to measure. So I should rate these one to five on how well I think they'll work. Do I think this will be able to pull 0.1 kilogram? Yeah, I think it certainly will. Do I think it will automatically bring it up there and then dump it? Uh, you know, at best, I'd say that's two out of five. Do I think I'll be able to manufacture the one centimeter rise here? Well, I don't know. Maybe it'll take to the air. Not too sure about that. So three inches. Am I going to be able to make it within the length? Certainly. And the height? Certainly. And will this be able to start parallel to the ground and then go up there? Well, I'm not super sure about that, but I'm going to give that a three. Then I'd get some feedback, and this would be done as a sketch. The next thing this sketch needs is to calculate the potential energy, kinetic energy, total energy, and velocity. So at the top, potential energy is the mass times gravity times the height. So 0.1 kilograms is going to be multiplied by 9.8, because that's the acceleration due to gravity, multiplied by however many meters you have. If you're 16 inches tall, 40 centimeters, that's 0.4 meters, times 9.8, times 0.1, gives you a potential energy. Your total energy is going to be your potential energy plus your kinetic energy. But it doesn't have any at the, at the top before it starts. It doesn't have any kinetic energy. And its velocity, since it's not moving, is zero. So the total energy is going to be the potential energy plus zero. Now, here at the bottom, all of that has turned into kinetic energy. So your kinetic energy is going to be equal to the total energy at the top minus the potential energy at the bottom. There isn't any potential energy at the bottom because it's zero times something else. So your kinetic energy is going to be equal to your total energy at the top. Your total energy at the bottom is equal to that. And this is the formula with the steps for figuring out the velocity. If you need help with this, any of this, come to office hours. So this step, once I added peer feedback, would be done and ready to upload.